guys, so I'm currently in my tiny house and I just wanted to film what I do today. So I've gotten up super early to get in about an hour of work on my camper and then I have uh, a forest therapy walk to go um, do for an hour at a like a retreat place who um, asked me to come and do a walk there and a whole bunch of other good things are going to happen this afternoon but I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to bend some more metal. I've already bent two more and I know you guys got on me about this last time. Um, it's just so hard to use gloves and I'm not cutting metal so I'll wear gloves when I'm cutting metal but I'm just bending it so it's just coming right off the, the metal. So I've got some C clamps down here, which have made it so easy. Thank you to whoever suggested that. And I'm just gonna bend the next two pieces of metal. I have one more to go and then I'm going to show you guys the um, pieces. So I don't know if you guys can see but I didn't showcase this last one very well, sorry, it's unfocused. But I put this where the curve needs to be, and then I bent my last piece, and it ended up getting this kink in it because I did too much at once. And so the kink then ended up making the um, the curve too too fast, and so I've. Um, I've kind of ruined this piece. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell. This piece is just done. Um, but I can reuse it because I do need a, another circular piece about that size. And so I can still bend that, I believe, into oof, the circle that um, I do need. So that's good. It's not wasted, but um, I wish I didn't do that. So yeah. Next time I won't be so ambitious to get it all done in one crank. So that's all I'm gonna have time to do today. I'm gonna put the bender, not today necessarily, right now, I put the bender away. All right, so done for today. Again, I'm, I know I'm gonna get some comments, but I was just bending the metal, so um, there wasn't too much harm in that, although like I said before, it's probably kind of toxic, so maybe that is what I should be really concerned with. So I got four of the five curves done, and the other day I picked up uh, some of this self-shielding um, wire, flux cord wire. And so this is what I'm going to be using. Um, I was going to use the gas, but then I thought... <clears throat> That might be a little bit too much for me right now. So I'm gonna use this and um, I think I know how to um, start the, the welder and once it's all set up, I know how to use it, but um, it's just figuring out how the whole system works. Cause when I took the welding class, I just, um, I was on a super big machine and to be honest it was all new and I wasn't listening very well obviously to the setup of it so hoping soon that I can do some welding but I also have a lot going on and um, gotta keep it moving you know so it's only April and I'm hoping to have this done by July which I think is totally possible and um, yeah I'm gonna go take a shower and then uh, get myself ready for the forest walk that I'm leading today with I think eight participants. All right, so I'm almost all ready for my walk. I have to leave in maybe 10 minutes or so, but I got my scrolls in here and 
um, because I have no idea, I haven't been to the place that I'm leading. I'm bringing some um, hemlock with me in case I can't find any um, tea plant along the way. And then it's also a, I think, raw vegan retreat, the whole thing. I'm just kind of a, a piece of that. And so I can't make tea. And so I'm going to be, you know, trying to create sun tea <laughs> while on the walk. So we'll see how that goes. It might not actually happen, but um, it's the intention, I guess, that counts. So. I am on my way right now to my forest therapy walk. Um, I am super excited. It's the first official walk I've done since spring. Although it's questionable if it's really spring up here in New York. It's still snowing and just not that pleasant. That was so much fun. I love giving walks and today just kind of reminded me that this really is something that um, is going to be a part of, of who I am and how I communicate uh, with others for the rest of my life. It's so fun to watch as, as the people that you're guiding, you know, go through this experience of reconnecting with nature and remembering, you know, things from their childhood and, and getting emotional and just feeling so much gratitude for the forest, for, you know, the, the beings that give us life, right? What am I stressing about? Why am I worrying? You know, as long as I'm, I'm here and taking care of the earth, I will be supported. Half and half, which is what we had decided on before. 
Um, I definitely would have maybe asked people to bring a cup for tea or something like that. I'm super stoked. It's been a really exciting weekend. I have more forest therapy stuff coming up. I'm headed to Washington, D.C. to be part of the, uh, like, I don't even know what you'd call it, but the association is meeting with uh, uh, the, like, the national parks and other organizations similar to that to see how they can maybe incorporate forest therapy or maybe create certified trails that then guides could lead on or how we could integrate this more into, I guess, our government and uh, its programs. One last thing before I go, I have changed over my uh, apparel, you guys would know if you're following me on Instagram, that I've changed it over to um, my main website, livinglifefruitfully.com. It used to be on Be More Badass and I, I still have that um, the Instagram I also have a YouTube for that I haven't done anything with it and I have the website and so I'm not really sure what's going to become of it but um, yeah I'm just excited to see um, what new thing comes of it but my apparel is now on my main website and I've changed the blueberries on the shirts to kiwis and so it has a little bit of a different look um, and I have more apparel coming in the near future, so you can go ahead and check out my website because I've done a lot of work on it recently. forest therapy because so much of, of forest therapy is also you know activism work and, and trying to get people passionate about our environment about protecting it and doing everything they can to um, make it better to improve it to regenerate it um, and just you know it's just a beautiful combination because it's the connection of you know what we choose has an impact on our environment. Um, each step we take is affecting um, our world. And so when we can have more care and consciousness and awareness with each decision, each choice we make, we can in turn better our envi environment, which is really the goal with both of these um, both forest therapy and, you know, veganism. While forest therapy maybe is more of um, a personal thing for some people, but it very much is, you know, once you make that personal connection and realize we depend on, on these trees for our, our survival, there's, there's no going back. And so once that connection is made, you then ask, okay, well, what can I do? And one of those things is cut down slash eliminate meat, meat and dairy products. They are not sustainable for our environment. It was just really, it was a very unique experience too because I've been guiding people that I would say are more open 
and uh, more kind of already interested in these topics of, uh, I don't know, connecting with nature. And so it was cool to see there were some people there that um, were more into like mindfulness and meditation and you can kind of sense that out in a the group. There were so many people from the city where this experience was the first connection they'd had to nature in in decades and it's a beautiful thing thing to watch and hear what their experience was like so I'm, I'm just you know always so grateful that um, that I'm able to assist in helping them reconnect with, with nature. Got it all set up, so. So I'm gonna, I think, I'm just gonna look here at one more thing, and then when I decide to weld, I should be all set. Because this comes right out, which is great. So then I just need to ground this with something. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. It's a little way. Yeah, everything is all packed up for now, okay? I'm gonna pull it out another day and work on it. Okay. All right, so I am done for today. It's been a great weekend and I got the wire threaded through and so I'm feeling confident that the next time I have some time to do some work, I can, um, yeah, go ahead and start welding the, the camper. Um, I had my grandpa out there and it's kind of challenging because he, he doesn't have great memory and so he gets um, very agitated sometimes when he thinks he knows what needs to be done but doesn't necessarily know. And so I want to involve him as much as possible but it's also challenging because it can get frustrating for me because I finally figure out what I need to do and then, you know, someone's yelling at you telling you that that's not the right thing and um, yeah it's just just challenging he's yelling at me right now that I need to hurry up <sighs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed my weekend and I will see you guys super soon in another video adios